is up everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well today for today's video as you guys can tell by the title we are doing a what i got for christmas this is an annual video that i do every single year i'm sure you guys would have heard a bunch of youtubers already that have posted these videos saying that they weren't sure whether to even do this video this year i was definitely one of those people but since i've been seeing so many people post them and honestly is my favorite video to watch every single christmas i thought just because it's 2020 why should i deprive you guys of some Christmassy wholesome content. I know that Christmas has not been the same for everyone and I just honestly can't wait for this year to be over. It has been a really bad year. But hopefully wherever you are in the world, you watching this right now, I hope you had an okay Christmas. If you weren't able to see your family, I'm really, really sorry about that. But I hope that you had some time to yourself to kind of reflect on the year and just give yourself a little bit of a pamper time. This year, more than ever, I feel like it was all about gifting practical things things and receiving practical things and I feel like a lot of the things that I got this year are just really practical gifts or things for the house since we're spending so much time in the house right now. So I hope you guys enjoy seeing what I got for Christmas from my family members this year and hopefully if you guys are new here you'll subscribe, come and join the dinosaur family. But I guess without further ado let's get on into the video. Alright so first up I'm going to show you guys what I actually received from my fiance Matt. He got me like a few little bits and bobs and then two main presents. I actually knew what one of the main presents was already because we kind of discussed it and stuff so I'm just going to show you guys what he got me. So first up we actually got each other stocking fillers this year as well which we actually do every single year so the first thing I got from Matt in my stocking filler was this. This is a little bit of like a novelty kind of present but it's called the vegan survival kit in a can so this is what it looks like. Anyone that's vegan out there I feel like they would really really like this as like a little jokey gift so this is the vegan survival gift in a can it's just for fun when you open it up it has some really strange and random things in there let me show you so you know if you're a vegan and if you're ever in a survival situation you're of course gonna need some jelly beans I've also got a vegan ox cube I think there's two in there again Sometimes you just need an ox cube, okay? And sometimes they're not vegan, so this is great. The next thing we have in here is a soya milk substitute in one of those little like one-time use kind of containers. Again, if you are ever staying at a hotel or anywhere like that and you just need some soya milk for your coffee or tea, this is great. There's a bunch of random things in here like these raindrops, which are actually one of my favorite sweets, and then just loads of random things. But yeah, this was a really nice, a funny little stocking filler for someone that's vegan. Vegan. The next thing I saw in my stocking is actually this little cookie cutter, which is actually in the shape of an Among Us character. I actually love that. If you guys haven't seen my Among Us video with YouTubers, check it out. We had so much fun playing this game. He then also got me in my stocking this slab of chocolate. This is the Raspberry Biscoff um, chocolate. I think this is a dark chocolate, so it's vegan, but it's basically just got like chunks of dried raspberries and Biscoff biscuits on top, so I can't wait to eat this. He also got me a bunch of like vegan sweets and things like that that were in my stocking as well which I have already eaten so I can't show you guys. So that was it for my stocking fillers. He then got me two different Woodwick candles. Now this is something I had no idea he was going to get me at all but if you know me personally you will know that I absolutely love receiving candles around this time of year especially for like Christmas presents. If there's ever anyone that struggles to get me a present I just say just get me a candle because I'll always be happy with a candle. So the first one he got me is this one. It's called the Trilogy Mountain air candle and oh my god I've already burnt this it smells absolutely divine but also the reason why they're really special is because they actually have a like patented kind of wick so the wick rather than just going up it's like a plus symbol like this so that when you burn it it actually has a crackling sound which is so cool and then the second woodwick candle he got me is the trilogy one again it's called the terrace blossoms it's kind of got like a like a floral kind of scent to it. If you look at the wick of this one, again, it's like a wood wick that's literally just so long and it has that same crackling effect. So I can't wait to burn this as well, but I kind of feel bad to burn it because it smells so nice. Now the next item that Matt got me is actually a travel book. This is basically a book that has loads of different ideas of places to visit. It's kind of like a better version of a travel guide because it has so much information about so many different places, but it's not like trying to sell you anything. Like it doesn't say, oh, book this hotel, go to this attraction. It just basically describes some of the best places to see in the world and yeah, 
Yeah, there's literally like a segment on every part of the world. So I'm really excited to go through this with Matt. So Matt actually got me this book kind of as like a, hopefully we'll be able to travel somewhere soon. If you guys didn't know, Matt and I have a vlogging like joint channel where we travel a lot when we can, but when we can't, we kind of just do like homey things, home renovations, that kind of jazz. So this is like a really nice thing to look at and hopefully have something to look forward to. So we might find a nice location to travel to next when we eventually can. Matt knows I have so many different pieces of clothing that I don't need any more clothes. However, he usually buys me like a pajamas or a t-shirt with like a funny saying on it or something. So this year he got me this, which says, where do I get my protein? Bitch peas. <laughs> I absolutely love that. It's like um inside joke with us because obviously we're both vegan. So we always get asked, where do you get your protein? Now the next item I got from Matt is actually one of my main presents. And honestly, I had no idea he would get this for me, but I'm so grateful. Literally, this is everything I think I've ever wanted. It's basically a massage gun. So I have quite a lot of like different gimmicky, like self massaging things, you know, like the ones that you can like put on a chair and it like massages your back. I have one of those. And then last year he got me one of these ones that you just kind of put on your neck and it massages your upper shoulders. But a lot of the time these self massaging like things that don't really work that well and they actually can kind of hurt your back. So this year he got me this, which is a massage gun. It kind of looks like a speed gun or something really, really strange. But basically you just turn it on and then this little ball vibrates. So when you kind of like put it on your back, Oh, it feels so nice. You can massage your arms with this. It really relaxes your muscles. You can do your own legs. So whenever I have a backache, Matt is gonna have to massage my back with this from now on because honestly, this is like the best thing ever. And then lastly, what I got from Matt is actually the main present that we kind of both agreed on getting for me. And even though it's for me, it's kind of for both of us as well. It's basically a PlayStation 4. I have the empty box here because I've already got it installed downstairs. He also got me the Call of Duty Modern Warfare to go with it because I've really gotten into this game over the last year, especially like since the first lockdown. I really got into like all kinds of different games. I've been playing a lot of Nintendo. I've been playing a lot of PlayStation. So Matt already has a PlayStation 4 of his own in the cinema room. However, if we want to play Warzone Battle Royale together, then I do need my own console for that because you can't do it like split screen on one console. So that is kind of why he got me a PlayStation 4 for Christmas but honestly, I've wanted my own one for so long. Apart from this one game, Matt and I have very different like tastes in games. So if he wants to play this by himself, he can, and I can just be on my own one doing something else. So yeah, I'm really, really grateful for all the gifts I got from Matt. I think they're really useful. They're really handy and they're things that we can use together as well. So that's great. Now, next up, I'm gonna show you guys gifts that I got from my mom and my dad. So the first thing they got me is a set of PJs. Literally, my parents always get me a set of PJs every every year and I'm not mad at it. This year they got me this one, which is from Disney. I absolutely love it. It's got Chip and Dale on it. And then these are the bottoms. And let me just say, they are so freaking cozy. I wore this literally on Christmas day and I absolutely love them. This set of PJs is literally me in a nutshell. It's nude, it's got Disney on it and it's cozy and fluffy. So honestly, I'm obsessed. The next thing my parents got me is actually a little top up of my favorite perfume ever. So they actually got me this last year. I've used it all up pretty much. And this is the Coco Chanel Mademoiselle perfume. I just love this scent. It reminds me of my childhood because my mom used to have this perfume and I used to always steal it. And over the years, this has kind of become like my signature perfume. So thank you so much for that. Every year for Christmas, they also get me a Victoria's Secret body spray. I just love these body mists so much. So this one is in the scent Coconut Passion. Let me just smell it real quick. It's very sweet and very like, well, coconutty, but also really fruity. I just love these. They're so easy. I always love having one of these in my handbag. So yeah, really, really happy to get another Another one of these. The next thing I got from my parents is a pair of totes socks. Look how freaking adorable these are. They're basically like little reindeers. They're gray and they're just so thick and so cozy. They have these like rubberized bottoms as well. So you can kind of wear them as slippers as well. You best believe I'm gonna be putting these on as soon as I'm finished with this video because they just look so cozy. And then to go with a cozy theme, my mom also got me a very wintry hat. I love bubble hats. 
hats. I literally have so many and there's never enough, okay? So this one is really cute. I actually don't know where she got this from, but it's very Christmassy. My mom said that they got this for me in mind of like me traveling to Iceland soon. Hopefully in the next year, I'll be able to go there or Norway or just any cold country. I feel like this will just look so amazing there. Now this next one is a bit of a joint present for both Matt and I. And basically my parents got us a little vegan cookbook. This is by Shannon Martinez. My mom said there's a lot of things in here that are like easy and actually realistic to make at home. So I'm really excited to try some recipes. Along with this book, they also actually got us a set of cutlery, but I can't show you guys that because I kind of already unpacked it, but it was like this really nice gold set of cutlery. And the last thing that I got from my parents is another joint present for Matt and I. And it's basically this like wooden little serving tray with a bowl that's in the shape of an acorn. I think this might be from Sainsbury's home, but I just love this aesthetic so much. I think it's so cute. Next up, I got some things that I got from Matt's mom, my future mother-in-law. So basically the first thing she got me is this, which is a little book that I actually asked for. She was like, what should I get you? I was like, I really don't know. But then I came across this on ASOS and I thought this is a really good idea. This is called the Staying Social, a social media planner, journal and reflection tool. When you're a YouTuber or blogger or anything like that and social media is your full-time job, it can be kind of nerve-wracking and just straining mentally. This year more than ever, I've really struggled with like social media being my job and maybe you guys have kind of noticed that, maybe you haven't, but I kind of feel like I'm always really hard on myself. So this is a really nice tool that I can use to kind of jot down my thoughts. I can plan out my content really, really easily because it's got like this planner kind of inbuilt within it, which I think is really cool. But then within this book, it has some really nice like notes and comments of affirmation. It says, don't compare yourself with a complete stranger on the internet. It's just like little things that are so obvious, but you kind of forget that sometimes when you get involved in social media. And to be honest, this year it has been, I think my seventh or eighth year doing YouTube as a full-time job. So I feel like it has been a little bit mentally draining at this point, although I love it so much still. So I feel like this little book will just really help me out. It'll be a nice useful tool to keep me inspired and also keep me sane. Now the next thing that Matt's mom got me is this. I probably won't be very good at explaining what this is. So I'm just gonna show you what it does. You just put it on your shoulders like this it has a bit of weight to it which is nice but actually it has these little beads inside it so that you can put it in the microwave heat it up and then you can put it around your neck and it's so nice and cozy as you guys know for my job I literally film videos and I edit and I'm sitting down a lot of the time so I always get back pains because I just don't sit properly I'm always like hunched over so having something like this that's a little bit weighted and kind of I don't know just reminds me to sit up straight is really nice but it's also really cozy and then on that cozy theme, she also got me this, which this is basically a giant pillow for your feet. When you're just sitting on the sofa and your feet are a little bit cold, you can just pop your feet in here and it's so nice and warm. And then this came as a set with a little sleeping mask that matches. I think this is so cute. And then the last thing Matt's mum got me is a little bracelet, which has a V on it. It's like the vegan V with the little like leaf on it. This is in rose gold. I really, really love it and I love the little green gem on it as well. The next present I got is actually from Anthony, which is Matt's little brother. He's actually been on my channel before. I think maybe like three or four years ago. He's 16 now, he's all grown up, but he got me a candle. This is called the Irish Botanicals Candle. I think he got this from our local garden center, but it smells amazing. It smells really fresh, really like floral. So again, as I said, you just can't go wrong with a candle. And then lastly, I got two gifts from Matt's dad. The first thing I got is this copper wire LED dome light. This is really cool because this has like those really dainty wire, like copper wire lights inside. However, it comes with a remote as well. So you can actually control them. You can set them on a timer. You can like adjust the brightness, the mode. It's really, really cool. I've never seen wire lights that that smart. So yeah, really happy with this. I can't wait to put this somewhere in my lounge. And then the next thing that we got from Matt's dad, which is actually also a joint present, is this. This is a Nest doorbell. We have wanted one of these for so long and we actually have like the whole Nest system of all the security cameras and stuff. So this will just go perfect with it and we're just really excited that he got this for us because both Matt and I are really interested in like smart homes and how you can have like such cool technology just within your house. So 
so this is a really nice present. So that is everything for today's video and everything I got for Christmas. As always, I just wanna say I am so grateful to everyone that has purchased something for me this year. I honestly didn't expect this many gifts at all. I feel very lucky and very blessed and I just can't wait to like put everything around the house, start using everything. Let me know in the comments what you guys got for Christmas as well. I would love to know, I'm very nosy. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys are all well and staying safe and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!